Hello everyone. This video, we're going to learn how to extend our home Wi-Fi over 300 feet. So everybody has a router at home, right? And what happens if we want to, you know, extend our router to 300 feet? Over 300 feet, then we can get a better reception. You know, sometimes when we're too far away from our router, the reception is so low, our internet experience is bad as well. So if we use a wireless access point, we can have an access point far away from our router and we can connect to this one instead of the router and then we'll still have a high speed internet connection. So now let's take a look on how we should do that. Well first, we can use a PoE wireless access point for the access point. In this case, we have, have to upgrade our regular network to a PoE network. So standard PoE network, we can upgrade it very easily with a PoE injector. This PoE injector here, is a 30 watts PoE injector. It's more than enough for a wireless access point. So after our data from our router goes to our PoE injector, the injector will inject power to the Ethernet cable, and then power and data will come along through the Ethernet cable to our wireless access point. And since we're going over 300 feet, 300 feet, we're going to have to think of something to repeat our wire, our Ethernet, our PoE signal. Since we're going over 300 feet, we're going to have to find a way to repeat our PoE signal. So after going over 300 feet, the PoE signal might be a little bit poor. So when it's very weak, it will kind of interfere with our connection as well. So we're going to use an extender. In this case, we have two extenders. Right here, this is the one input, two, one input, one output PoE extender. This is the one input, two output PoE extender. They're, they both have 30 watts power output. They are both I, rated IP67 waterproof, good for direct, direct burial. And the only difference is this one is a limited at 100 megabits per second, and this one is 1,000 megabits per second. So today we're going to use the one input two output PoE extender because it has higher bandwidth. And let's take a look what we need. So the router, PoE injector, Ethernet cables, PoE extender, and PoE wireless access point. So once we have this, we're ready to set a wireless access point over 300 feet and then we will have high speed connections at that area as well. And first of all, we're going to have to power our injector and our router, then connect these two. So any LAN port on our injector, on our router will work. This will give us the data and we have to connect our, LAN, our Ethernet cable to the LAN, LAN port. This will feed the injector with data and then we can connect our extender to our injector. So we're going to use a long Ethernet cable to simulate long distance. One end to the PoE injector, one end to our PoE extender. And make sure it goes to the PoE in port. This port will, have, will receive the PoE signal and repeat it. So you can see the indicator is on, meaning it has received the PoE signal. So once it receives, we're going to use a second Ethernet cable. Either two ports are the same, 30 watts maximum power output and mega, uh, gigabit bandwidth. So either one, just choose one you like and then connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the extender, then the other end to our wireless access point. And you can see the indicators are all on. This means there's power going through. The data is working well. As so this connection is complete and successful. So now we have wireless access at 300 feet. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about this setup, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.